how to get the Warfarer, Magic Archer, and Trickster, all before level 10. This journey is not an easy one. You may end up dying a few times, but it's well worth it for these powerful vocations. You don't need anything to start this guide. However, we are picking up a Fairy Stone, Port Crystal, Gold, and three Newt Liquor. I go over where to get them in the video. Before I start, if you just need the locations of the Meisters, I'm showing them on screen right now. You can start this once you've made it to Vernworth. I recommend using the Thief vocation because it has a fast movement technique like this. Also, don't forget to activate the port crystal. This is how we're getting back. Our first goal is getting a portable port crystal. So, from Vernworth, you want to take an ox cart to the checkpoint rest town. The ox cart may stop on the way, and that's fine. Head to this point on the map and follow the side road up. You'll climb up a ledge right over top the griffin's nest. You can climb down or do a jumping heavy to land. At level 10, don't fight. You'll just want to grab the port crystal, fairy stone, and gold before leaving. You can sometimes get the griffin to lift you back up, but going out the other way is fine too. Now that we have the port crystal, head back to the checkpoint rest town. Be sure to have a camping tool with you, then rest at the inn for a proper save point. Next, we're going to be looking for this black ox cart to come into town. You can catch it during different times of day, but right after dark is most reliable. Pass the time at the bar until you've spawned the ox cart and hop on. The people may start yelling at you, but pay them no mind. I'll not take that from you! Oxcart will take you through the checkpoint gate, unlocking an achievement. Now you can keep riding this for some protection, or you can just push on as follows. Make your way to this road on the map. Then turn left. Follow the path and you'll find the trickster. In order to get her Meister ability, it needs to be nighttime. So if it's not, run over to this campsite and use it. Climb up on top of the trickster building with the ladder on the side to receive the ultimate ability. Now we're going to Bach Patal to get two Newt Lickers. Follow the main road dodging and weaving until you make it to the city. From the city, you'll want to make your way to the palace steps. To the left side by a fire, you'll find a dude. Speak with him and get your first newt liquor for only 2,000 gold. Next, make your way into the magic's lab in the north side of the city. Once inside, head to the dragon statue, then up the tiny stairs by its head. Follow the short hallway past the spiral ramp and there's this room where you'll see the Newt Licker. Now that you have two Newt Lickers, you'll want to make this a save point by resting at the inn. This next part is going to be hard, but don't be discouraged, we're almost finished. 
Make your way south for the Volcano Island. You'll want to mix up Blade Cutter with movement techniques to make it past all the enemies. Once you make it to the cave, lock it in. Follow this path through the cave, just keep dodging. You'll make it to a room with a bunch of rock salamanders and a blocked breakable wall. At our current level, it's almost impossible to break through the wall. So instead, grab a rock at the top and drown them all. Once you've made it outside the cave, start picking up the plants you see. As you pick them up, you'll come across an old smith who needs three herbs from you. When you give him the herbs, he'll ask you to meet him at his home. But first, we need to make it all the way to the Volcano Island camp. The reason we go to the camp first is to set up our port crystal. There's almost no way to get the smith here at our current level without doing this. After placing the port crystal, head back to the smith's house. You'll talk to them both and then they head inside. Follow them in and you'll find the last newt liquor we need. You'll then need to offer the dwarf your services and take him to the hot springs. Once you've looted everything from his house, just walk outside and use that fairy stone we got from earlier to get to the camp. Take the smith all the way to the hot springs where the quest will be completed. His wife will now talk to you and give you both the Magic Archer vocation and the Meister ability. Right next to the spa, the Warfarer is sitting. Give him all three of the Newt Lickers and he'll reward you with the Warfarer vocation. Talk to him again and you'll get the Meister ability. Both of these quests give you a lot of XP and some gold so you can buy a Fairy Stone back to Vernworth. If this video helped you out, please leave a like and follow for more gaming content.